Hey, well, I'm making this short video uh, in response to one of my subscribers who has excessive uh, play in the back gear and wants to know how to replace the bushings uh, in you know that the the back gear uh, rotates on. So it's actually quite simple. There are two bolts that hold the eccentric brackets onto the headstock, one on that side and one on this side. If you take those off, <clears throat> the entire back gear assembly comes right off the headstock. And this tube right here, both of these gears, this one and this one are held onto this tube by set screws. One set screw is right in the middle of the small gear. The other set screw is right here. So once you take the back gear assembly off, the two um, brackets that hold the eccentrics for moving the back gear in and out <clears throat> will slide off and you'll be left with a shaft and the two, this uh, actually Atlas calls this a sleeve in the in the diagram and I'll, I'll show that at the end of the video there is a bronze bushing on each end and you have to <clears throat> drive the bushing out from each end and then replace it. And if you can get uh, the actual part, fine, but if you can't, you're going to have to either make it or match it up to an ODID bronze bushing. All right, now I'm going to I'm going to go and we'll take a look at the exploded diagram and it probably make more sense. In the office now, we're taking a look at the exploded diagram and parts list for the Atlas lathe. And here's the back gear assembly. The you take it, you can you remove the back gear assembly by removing this bolt on this side, and then this. Um, whole bracket will come off of the headstock and on the other side you have the same arrangement where you have a bolt take it out and this bracket will come off once you've done that you can basically separate the entire um, back gear assembly and you'll end up with these are the eccentrics these are the eccentrics that move the back gear assembly into the head into the uh, bull gear or away from the bull gear. So when you pull the whole thing apart, what you're left with is the shaft, and there is a bushing, a bronze bushing. It's actually part number 10-249, one on that side, and one on this side, that are pressed into the sleeve. So if you have excessive wear, you're going to have to knock those bushings out by driving a drift through one side, knock one out, and then go and knock the other one out. Now if you can't obtain the parts, uh, the actual Atlas parts, it's not a you know a big deal because you can you know the diameter of the shaft that runs through it and you know the ID of the sleeve so you can either make your own 
or you can buy or you can go and buy oil light bushings and make whatever modifications you need and press them back in now if the shaft is is worn then that's just nothing but a you know a piece of probably three eighths or five sixteenths rod I didn't measure I didn't measure it and uh, it's actually freezing in my shop right now and I really didn't want to st take this whole thing apart so I'm I'm doing it with the diagram all right well I hope that helps them out I'll see you on the next video.